What up, what up? It's your boy DRE, half a cool and Dre. You know what I'm saying? My name's Illa, the producer. I am Ray Sean, aka 808 Ray. I'm a music producer. It's a cool, cool and Dre. You know what I'm saying? Music producer slash executive out of Miami, Florida. I do some of your favorite records in your entire life. Hate it or love it. New York, New York. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Most people know me from working with Eminem. I did half of his last album, which was Kamikaze. This week, last year, I had the number three song in the world with Kill Shot, which was the MGK did. Your reply got the crowd yelling, woo! So before you die, let's see who can out petty who with your song with Nas, Ross, Khaled, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Beyonce. Or say New York, Ja Rule, Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, Hit or Love It, The Game. 50 cents. If I could, be to the love of the underdogs on top. And I'm gonna shine on me until my heart stops. The very first tattoo I ever got, I got of a chick that I was dating at the time. Salute to the guy who did this. He's a legend, he's an icon, he goes by the name of Mr. Cartoon. And I did this because uh, for my birthday, she got a tattoo on her back. You know what I'm saying? He dedicated it to me. So. When it was Valentine's Day, I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go the whole distance. I was living in the moment. So it's right here. Now, the skull that you see here, that wasn't there. Her face was there, but of course, as uh, life moves on. First tat I ever got was my name, Ilya. Because at that time, I was, it was like reinventing myself. This is my first name, but when I was in high school, junior high, and all that, I was going by Ray, but I was getting in a lot of trouble. So when I went to college, I was like, all right, I'm gonna change and rebrand my whole shit, you know what I'm saying? So this is my first tattoo, this is my real name, Ilya. And my first tattoo was this sun right here when I was 18. And I just, I like traditional, you know, Japanese art. So I asked for a rising sun, but I got another type of sun. I mean, I'm still cool with it, it still looks dope. First tattoo was uh, this one right here. Was of my firstborn, Nylena has her name. He even when when I did the, when he did the tattoo, he's like, "Yo, when I'm done, your clothes is gonna fit different." You know what I'm saying? He's like, "What are you talking about?" You know what I'm saying? I didn't get it till it was done. You know what I'm saying? Actually, when I had a shirt on, and I was like, "Yo, you know, it just it just gave you a little pep to your step." You know what I'm saying? My newest tattoo I just got done by the one and only Shay Crook Shay. But right here, we did some skulls to represent see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And instead of putting the, uh, the skull hands over the eyes, the mouth and ears, Shay had this awesome idea of putting a rose. It's my favorite tattoo I got right now, can't lie. Latest tattoo I got was this Archangel Michael, my guy Shay. Dope ass tattoo artist from London. He did it for me. And it means a lot to me because, you know, I'm a real um, spiritual person. You know, I believe I'm one of God's warriors and this is, you know, this is God's ultimate warrior right here. This is Michael. My latest one is the Dragon Koi Fish by, you know, my homie Shay. You know, um, streaming up your arm represents progression. So, you know, it's all, you know, changing through life, coming out of that cocoon, coming out of that shell, just progressing through life. And, being better than I was yesterday. Latest tattoo, um, shit today. You know what I'm saying, my man, my man Shay, Shay Crook. You know what I'm saying. This is a, this is a, a tattoo that had. You know what I'm saying. It was a. Uh, it's it's been a three years in the making, and I encourage every up and coming person that that's not sure of a tattoo. If you got if you got a good relationship with a tattoo artist that can draw a vibe on you, and you can test drive it for a couple days till you figure out. Nah, you know what? I'm I'm cool on the hand, or I'm cool on. The placement, you know what I'm saying? How tattoos fit in the music culture. I feel as though musicians, you know, we do everything in our power to express ourselves, you know, um, artistically. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, just uh, rapping or singing or producing, it ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I feel as though most artists appreciate art. It's more than just what we hear. We see music all the time. We're here at our studio right now. There's a lake out there, there's birds, all that. The sounds that that create, you know what I'm saying, is art. Oh man, tattoo definitely fits into the music culture, the urban culture, hip hop, sports, everything. Because 
it's art and no matter who you are you could be the toughest dude you could be the sweetest girl something about the right the a dope tattoo artist who knows what they're doing putting the right piece on you it just stands out tattoos fit in the culture because it's a way of expressing yourself man like it's a way of expressing what you've been through um, it's a way of expressing what you like and it's just expressing who you are and it's another way to express who you are i mean i think tattoos um you know they've they've definitely been around since before all of us was even born you know what i'm saying it's and it's been in the and it's been in hip-hop culture it's been a staple i think tattoo in hip-hop culture is like sampling you know, it's a part of the hip-hop culture, and it's not going nowhere. <clears throat> it's only getting bigger. <laughs>